So you're attempting to negotiate to get the price down on haunt siphons from Jorfa. Yeah. And yeah. You I mean, have not... rolled a 15 appraise. <sighs> not, on, not only will we give you this Wait, painting no, 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 no. Uh, hang on, hang on. of my ass cheeks. This painting of my ass cheeks. I didn't say it. I didn't say Wait, it. Wait, somebody click on haunt siphon <laughs> in, uh, in Charles's inventory and see how much it's worth. In, in my inventory, it says it's worth. Well, it has it's no used. value. I don't if it's even used, it goes to zero, I think. I don't even Fuck. see it. Uh, 400 it. gold. 400 gold. I just added a charge and took one away. 400 gold. It's worth exactly 400 gold. Sorry, our characters don't know that. I think, I think we could tell Jorfa that she wait is she worried about leaving like having to leave given all the undead and I don't think she, she doesn't, doesn't I... seem worried or he they um <clears throat> she it they how, yeah. how much how much work does she even get in this town because i was gonna say when we beat these fuckers we'll just accredit our win with her craftsmanship and send more people her way kind of like a little bit of a marketing deal here <laughs> anybody really good at sense motive do you work for exposure? Uh, I'm good at it. I have an eight. Uh, am I good at it, Toby? I don't remember. <laughs> I roll sense motive. I have sense motive, too. Oh, Josh, you are also, you know... Okay. I'll support anyone in sense motive. Since what, you guys have, have been away from this campaign for a while, I'm going to remind you of a few things. One, Josh, you're oh. really good at sense motive. You have a total of ten. And okay. two, Josh, you are a blacksmith yourself. Yeah, I rolled blacksmithing and asked that question earlier. Did you? Yep. Well, I think you had your mic muted or inserted into somebody's no, orifice. You fucking ignore me, because that's the kind of GM you are, yeah? Really? Whoa, take that back. Take wow. that back. You can't fucking talk like that in fucking games. I'll fucking knock you one. Take that shit shots, back. Shots farted. Sharks <laughs> farted. Uh, uh, no, I actually did roll uh, blacksmith and say... Uh, picked really you up from the ex-girlfriend DMZ, you son of a bitch. He I did. did, in fact. He totally. And then listen to me rant for about 25 minutes. Straight. You're fucking lucky you're not hanging out with four little kids right now. <laughs> they're not little. I saw the twins for the first time in years. They look like young women. Yeah, they're worse. They're teens now. Yeah, they're teen twins. Look at and they're playing, and they they fucking play doubles tennis against people. Yeah, oh, you know really? what mind fuck oh, that, that is to, to look across so the net scary. and see two Her... identical opponents. You're like, fuck, I don't know. What did I just serve to? Like, they could totally fuck with you <laughs> on the order of return because you're supposed to alternate, you know? And if they wear the same thing, yeah. Or yeah. The same You'd way, be like, no, she just it hit it back. And she's like, no, that was my sister. And you're like, God, fuck. I gotta keep an eye on them all the time. It's like a shell game. Anyway, we've got our own URL now, Josh. You can't talk that way. Oh, okay. Anyway, no, Josh, can you please? <laughs> seriously, I did roll a blacksmithing check. You rolled a, a three was your roll, and a total of 16. So, great. So I know all the things I need to know. All right, perfect. So, uh, Adinvaya knows that it does require 200 materials, 200 gold of materials, fine metals, glass, uh a little silver, a little gold, that part doesn't matter. You can kind of style them any way you want, but they do require a certain amount of materials. And they require a spell called Gentle Repose, which Dinvaya herself can cast. Oh, so yeah, if she had access to a facility and time, Dinvaya could make these herself for material cost, 200 gold. Yeah, uh, but we need Dinvaya you, killing need Dinvaya things. going in to kill things. So Dinvaya is very aware that 200 gold is what they cost to make. General Repose is a spell it takes to cast. And Father Grimborough and maybe one or two of his acolytes can cast that. So that part could probably be provided. Now, the sense motive check. Josh, if you want to give me one. I'll assist, Josh. That's a 12. Goes to a 14. Doing great. Uh, anybody else have sense motive worth a shit? I do, I think. Ah, uh, wait, wait, I might. Wait, but is... no, you're bad at it, unless she's a follower for asthma. I got, well, um, my, minus, is she a lawful good follower for asthma? No. <laughs> Definitely not. You're guessing no. 
mm, any of no. those things. <laughs> well, then I got a 16. Okay. Mm. Just ran in there. He still has a plus four, even with the negative. Wait, Sid, if you have a decent sense motive, you should roll it too. Okay, hold on. That's already maximum assistance. We've taken oh, a 12 to a 16. No more assistance. Oh. Josh, with your 16 blacksmithing check and your 16 sense motive check, you, while these folks are arguing and in their stupid huddle, you see that she is selling all masterwork shit. She does not make normal shit. She is a master craftsperson, and she's really good. She has a few things on the shelf, like you're looking at this axe that's hanging over the forge near it, and you're like, that is not silver. She has made a mithril dwarven war axe, which is very difficult to make, and it's a 6,000 gold weapon. Mm -hmm. And what Dinvai is putting together is that she's probably not selling much here. She crafts a lot of this stuff just to keep her skills sharp, and it doesn't sell that well. And she probably has existing wealth from somewhere else. And if anything, it's just strange. She's just sort of set up a high tier. This would be a good shop in Lepstadt, the big city you came from. Here, it's beyond anybody's funds. So it literally makes no sense that she set up shop here. Because she gets up as someone can afford what she can make her class level. So she's just fucking off. Well, it doesn't seem like she needs to sell yeah. to survive here. She has, like, enough money to, to... And dwarves live a long time, a lot longer than humans. So you think she probably made her money elsewhere, and she's just sort of existing here. But you also suspect that she probably has no, like, existing contracts with the town. Like, the town could afford to outfit maybe the sheriff and the two deputies in her stuff. Um, and they have it. You've seen the sheriff and the deputies gear. It's pretty pretty normal, pretty mundane. Okay, I uh, interrupt the... What? Oh, go on, sorry, you got it. Mm -hmm. No, I was going to say, I was going to interrupt the, the, the parlay and clue them in on what I'm noticing and say... Can we can we cut a deal with her? Can we make some kind of a deal to her to, to try to entice her to helping us a little bit more? Maybe get her a contract with the city, something? I think she's just doing this out of fun. She's she's not making money. She's got she's independently wealthy apparently. She's I just think, making stuff. I think you should approach her and talk to her blacksmith the blacksmith and give her this painting as payment. This is the most valuable thing we have. You should point out that's a beautiful mithril axe that has probably never been swung by a customer to kill something. And if she wants to make something that's going to get used in a fight and is absolutely necessary to a present conflict, we are right here. And if she'll make us as many of those haunt siphons as she'll make us, you know, you can have this painting. Whatever discount she'll give, great. Whatever she won't, you know, we'll pay for it as best we can. The rest goes on credit. But this is her chance to make something that will immediately go and kill evil shit. Every day. Every day. All day. Okay. We will die fighting with these items. Okay. Is that what you guys want me to try to do? Yeah, go get her. Any other thoughts? Sid Harrison? Yeah. No, I'm on board. I'm on board. All right. All right, so Toby, I approach her. Okay. <gasps> so, Jorf, I've been uh, looking at your inventory. Yeah. It's step outside. And uh, I've noticed that your craftsmanship is above and beyond what this town uses, can use normally afford so I'm thinking you're working below your means here and what we're trying to do is do some good work and you obviously can craft some beautiful amazing things that can do some real good in the world and we have an opportunity for you to do that with these haunt siphons and we got some things we can bargain with to help pay for what we need 
but this is a real opportunity for your talents to actually be used and not wasted on backwoods farmers who can't afford shit. While you're talking, she continues working and doesn't quite strike the hammer so that she can still hear you, but that when you're done, she just starts hammering again. Uh, and I uh, pull out the painting. Say so we've got this as collateral. She to looks get the up ball at it. She says, "Oh, that's ugly." It's ugly. But 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 it's worth something. Yeah. Yeah. She says, "Go sell that to some dumb humans who think it's good, and give me the money they give you." And then maybe you can have a few of these things made. Fuck. Okay. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, God, where can we possibly sell that here? Uh, God the, damn the, it. What's the fucking creepy Where are some guy dumb humans they... who will think it's good? Uh, creepy Toby, scroll what... guy. Yeah, what was the creepy scroll guy's name, Toby? The creepy scroll guy. I have no idea because we haven't played this in a while. Uh, he wanted ten gold for us to use his shop for oh, that research. Little, that little that. fucker. I do not remember this little fucker. <laughs> oh. Sucks. Um, oh, so just to catch you up on the recap we did while you were getting coffee. Thanks again. Mm -hmm. Uh, last time we coffee? were in the prison. Sit. Sit. We, up I, your butt. I lost a fight <laughs> with the skeleton, um, and we uh -huh. killed Rowdy Roddy Piper, the piping ghost. And his area is the north side of the second floor of the prison, so we want to go back there, but we don't want to not have any haunt siphons. So we're trying to get some. Uh, another letter has appeared on the memorial, meaning there are only three letters left. I don't know what bad shit happens when, there's, when the name is completed. Uh, but, yeah. She probably like, comes back from the dead. Anyway, um... Oh, is this a session I missed? Uh, no, I think you were here and we fought the skeletons in the hallway. Are... I remember, yeah, and got like, uh, we weren't in good positioning and got absolutely fucked. Correct, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay, I was there for that. Um, okay. Somehow so don't. We need more haunt siphons, and yeah. I can send you my nuts. Send you my nuts? <sighs> yeah. Like, my notes from September 5th are we have pea soaked papers. Oh, I just hear rape Josh. Enjoy that, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you're sending. You're sending D's notes. Nice. <laughs> yes. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we fucking speed run bunny hop, like uh, just dead sprinting. Dead sprinting. There's no way we were in Jorfa's for more than like 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Really? That would have been... A, okay. Yeah, that that, that would have uh, been like a five minute scene on Game of Thrones. That would have been an be incredible fucking... waste of time. <laughs> I'm, I'm bee hopping, bee hopping down the street, yelling, Skull man! Where is he? Way oh man! <laughs> yeah, really? Wait. 1993 reference that people got? Excellent. I liked it. Spoon yeah. Man, yeah. Uh, Josh, or uh, Sid, Sid, will you roll a knowledge local? Yeah. Just to think about who might pay us money for this while we're bunny hopping to Scroll Man? I think it's insert Toby. Wow, don't ever say oh. that again, please. No! <laughs> oh. God oh. fucking damn it. Whoa. I mean, like, like cue, cue the knowledge that you'll give us now. No, 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 no. No, no. No, 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 no. I get killed off the game. None of you ever talk to me again. No, no, no. 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 His health is reduced to zero. He's dead. <laughs> Is everyone going to be okay? <laughs> Unrecovered. Oh, yeah. No. You, well, day's ruined. Day is ruined. The <laughs> scroll guy has decent amount of money. It just depends on whether he's into that art or not. And there's also the town council <laughs> members are a little more well off than the average citizen. I relay that. What is the silk purse? Is that a bank? Yeah. I'd like to take out a small loan. I'd like to fucking rip off the bank. Can we just, just can we just rob the bank? Okay, we're gonna go to the unfurling scroll and tell him that the council offered us fifteen hundred for this painting. That's a lie. We're gonna lie at him. 
Harrison's uh, going to stand outside because he can't handle lies. Say... Yeah. <laughs> say 1,700. Okay. Said so you're going to have to do the lying. What's your bluff? <laughs> <laughs> that Didn't we just say what the bluff was? No, or like, do I... No, 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 your bluff skill. skill. Oh my... Uh. It's like, that's what it is. Um... Uh. It is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Six plus six. I got a plus four. Hmm. I don't have a do I, Toby? I have plus five. Uh, bluff? Uh -huh. Yeah. Probably not. You wouldn't be any good at it. Let's see. Your skills. Bluff. You have a one. You have not bought it. No. It's not a class one. skill. You're bluffing. Okay. Gaspar and Kovira run into the unfurling scroll. Bunny hopping. Took us six seconds to get here. Mm. World record. It was incredible. Amazing. We're the king and queen uh, of the universe. Uh, this is. Did you change this, Toby? Uh, yes. Looks I like foggy it. and rainy now. No, no. I she mean the, the like wayfinder, effect. the ping. Oh yeah. Used to be like a crosshair-looking motherfucker. Freight train through a daycare into the fucking unfurling scroll. Yeah. Right through. We're absolutely panting when we bust through the doors. <laughs> I keep saying the wrong thing. It all sounds like oddly lewd. Anyway, um... Yeah. Almost fine. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we compose ourselves. <laughs> compose yeah. ourselves, Nengawin. Okay. Really? Okay. One after the other. Okay. You see the old man, Elendru. The scrolled says, man. Oh. We thought you offered to rent my facilities. Here to make a sale. Kovira, take it away. I'm not buying anything i pull out and hold up the big ass painting well Just holding it in front of my face so he can't see my face while she lies to him you're gonna want to reconsider not purchasing anything because we just offered this to the city council for twelve hundred dollars they offered us <laughs> <laughs> fucker i didn't drink my coffee <laughs> um it's 4:45. yeah um the city council offered us $1,200 for this fine painting here. And we wanted to go around and see if the other fine, fine townsfolk, such as yourself, would like to put a bid on this here valuable painting. It is in high demand. I suggest you consider quickly. May go oh. quite fast. This guy on the town council? <laughs> We should have checked Thank that. <laughs> uh. Thank fuck. Yeah, roll your bluff, Sid. Roll your oh, appraise oh. check. Oh. A skill we use to sell shit. You want me to? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can assist. Uh. Don't bring me down. Uh. What? Let's see. And its oh, actual value is dingus. He says, "Well, I would give you appropriate uh, thousand for it. If, the, if they pay you that much, you should take it. Of course, that's almost double what it's worth." No, no, a thousand, a thousand is great. That's perfect. We, no. we really what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say is that? Something? Less should we? Should we tell? Should we tell him he's wrong? <laughs> we would prefer to sell it somewhere like here, where it would be in a place of knowledge yes. rather than in a lord's home. Yes. Uh, so we will take your offer, and uh, that sounds great. He says, well, I would use it for uh, history lessons, of course. Excellent. Yeah. We knew it would have a, a special kind of appreciation in your possession, sir. As you know, it was yep. painted by a famous bard who was later beheaded because it was found unbecoming by the subject. Gross. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have cash on you, sir. Well, of course. There you are. He pays you a thousand gold for that shit-ass painting. Thank you so much, it... sir. In the inventory of the shop. There it will stay till cold war. For many, many a history lesson that we will all be grateful for in the future. But not so, today. We do have to make haste. 
So you've Would got you like... a thousand gold. Oh, go on. Would you like to buy this fabulous dark wood Moagni harp? No. <laughs> Deal. Bye. We fucking I sprint, bunny nod hop. and bow and chip <laughs> out the door. Yeah, we, we walk out. We walk out gracefully and then immediately resume dead sprinting. <laughs> yeah. Littering coins. Through, no, I'm just kidding. Trying to fit Jorfody's nuts in my mouth. <laughs> there it is. These notes. All right, so you've got a thousand gold. We got a thousand gold. You do. You're rich. You also have. I will remind you the spirit planchette. The Kate planchette. Oh. Wait, is that Which worth is anything? A, it's a Ouija board. Oh my God! It's worth four thousand gold. Okay, we Man. bunny hop back to. Of Andrew's fuck shack. Uh, you again. Well, maybe we should consider... Come back. I'm selling it. We're not using this fucking thing. <laughs> I'm selling the book. I'm selling the board to buy bombs. Closer. What is, what is try this? and sell this Ouija board. I'll not sell it back to you. Unless you've, of course, you've got 1,500 gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. So it is in your fine hands here, my lord. You drive a hard bargain, sir. We wish to display this spirit planchette. Goodbye, Josh. Dead. Absolute blast of text for Josh. Sorry. Oh, holy shit. Oh, no, I've got him set on compressed. Oh, it good. Okay. Him. Yeah. A compressed Josh. Said roll yes. praise. Roll praise yes. on, this, on this thing. Almost rolled acrobatics, AMA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no! Oh, well, I'll help you. Yeah. This is not interesting. Those are quite unreliable, you know. You never really oh, know what spirit you're talking to. If you had a hold of it, who would you try to sell it to in Wonderful oh, Rain? Some fool. Which fool? Oh, <laughs> there are many. Preferably How one many? with a lot of money. Oh, names from a hat, if you would, my lord. No. But if you did know... You're on your own. <laughs> okay, we bunny hop back to the center of town. Sid rolls knowledge local while we bunny hop. Yeah. Mm. Oh! What do I know? She was born here. Q, Toby. Better. You can Better. imagine that if any of the wealthier people in town are interested in horoscopes, crystals, essential oils, seances, stuff like that. You could, yeah, you could try to sell them to Kendra. But no, 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 no. stupid that we She's... didn't ask her for money up front. She lives in a mansion. Yep. She does have a little don't bit of money. Don't mansion it. Wow. <laughs> Very good. This is Joe Mansion. No. It's better than Joe Rogaine. <laughs> oh. Where are these wealthy people hanging out? Who are Where's... also dumb. Kendra might know them. I feel like wealthy people know wealthy people. Yeah, maybe. Want to uh, ask her? Gasper? We, we, no, first we go to Jorfa and have her start production with the thousand gold we've got. Yeah. Okay. And I, I think, uh, then by and dismiss should run to the church and get guys to cast this spell into these haunt siphons. Well, how long will it? Uh, how long will it take to craft these? Don't know yet. You think it would take you most of a day to even do one, and that's if you had completely sussed out the way to make them, which Jorfa will probably need time to do. Uh, what if I stay and work with Jorfa, crank these out? Uh, they would go faster. Days. But then you would be not along for the combats and things like that. Six boring options. Six boring options. I understand. 
Jorfa, uh, what can you give us for a thousand gold? This is, uh, make two of them. Well, what if we said, uh, we, we, we could try to convince the... We try to convince the town council to, uh, use your services to start outfitting some of the town soldiers with your wares. She says, I don't know. It's never happened. Well, we're pretty influential around right here. Oh, are you? Yeah. We're widely hated. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Hate is influence. Widely hated is your current status. What do you say? Three for a thousand, and we, we can get you a contract. <laughs> with the, uh, yeah. With the town. Dude, and if we, f if we fail, what would you say? She says, I could sit here and continue negotiating with you while I'm quite confident I'm not going to budge, or I could get to work doing this. Okay. Well, we'll take our change, and then we'll try to find you money to make more, if you'll keep the current rate. Yeah. You get 210 gold back, and you leave her the haunt siphon. She says she's going to start working on duplicating it. Just start cranking out as many as you can. We'll pay for them. That's... Draw for these notes. Okay, we're gonna send over Father Grimbro to cast spells into them when they're ready. Do you know what part of the process he'd need to be here for? Make a nine-year-old man hobble across the city. Oh, that would go well. Draw for life or death. He'll probably send an acolyte. Okay. He's got one or two that can cast second-level spells. You know what part of the process they need to be here for? Uh, she says they pretty much need to be here all day. At least most of the afternoon. Okay. All right, gang. We're going to fucking monkey. Oh, and do you know anyone who's wealthy in town and into weird voodoo shit like spirit boards? Uh, no. Okay, thanks. We run over to Kendra and run into the manor and ask her the same thing. Uh, what do you ask her? Hi, Kendra. We are trying to get Jorfa these nuts to buy to make us haunt siphons because we're running out and they're the only effective weapon against some of these ghosts or they're the most effective weapon against the more dangerous ghosts and we need money so we're going to sell this preposterous haunt si or uh, spirit board thing and we were wondering if you knew anyone in town who would be into uh, this spirit planchette jeez louise <laughs> yeah my thoughts exactly Kendra says well, what sort of... How much did you sell her the prototype for? The hot siphon? Yeah. It's a very elaborate, expensive, rare magic item that she's going to now know how to make and can make money off selling them forever. Oh, yeah. You did her a huge favor. Well... By, by, by even bringing this to her. Nobody knows how to make and they're useful. She could sell them all over Ustalov. She goes to Lepstad, she'll make a fortune. Well, we didn't do we didn't do that. <laughs> We're she fucking says, idiots. She says, "Well, I'm gonna go have a talk with her." Okay. Ubu fingers put together while mommy <laughs> talks to mean lady. Okay. She goes and talks to Jorf. What do you guys do? Uh, we, we should go alert the Tipple people. We need the things to do the things. Okay. Yeah. That'll be pretty easy. Somebody just roll me a basic diplomacy check. I, Did you want to yeah. ask Kendra anything about the spirit planchette before she goes? Yeah. Who would who would you sell this? She says, thing "Oh, to? the Faravans might give you a half or three quarters of what it's worth. They're dumb enough to use that shit." She says, by the way, when you use that thing, you have no idea who you're talking to, really. <laughs> Where do the Faravans hang out? Uh, they're places across the river, right across the street from the Temple of Phrasma. Super convenient. We go there. Thank you, Kendra. Yep. Oh, my God. Motoring across the map. Hell yeah. Motor boating. <laughs> okay, you go see Miss Chandra Faravan. Mm, Chandra. Oh, Faravan. Mm. Banging on the door. 
That's banging on the door. You're it's destroying. Two Jesus. Destroying her door. Over it up. Oh. <laughs> An incredibly high res photo of the gold knuckles. <laughs> you like that? It fills the combat tracker. It's all you can see. What? It shouldn't do that. It's huge. Oh, you've got yours expand. You got to have your chat cards collapsed, or you're gonna be very sad. Uh, whenever the image is in there. I don't know how to do that. No time. Oh, okay, no time. Uh, Chandra Faravan, do you knock on the door and you pummel the door? Apparently, and right a face. servant who looks just oddly very much like Todd. It's not Todd, but. The apparel is right. You realize what Todd's going for. It's like butler. But, uh, and he opens the door and he's like, yeah. Hello. Good day. We have a valuable uh, spooky item and would like to parlay with the lady of the house who may be interested in such things. Huh? We'd like to see the lady of the house. Okay. <laughs> Slowly turns around. And he looks around like he's trying to think where she is. He's like, hmm. All right. Come over here. Yes, you stand uh, in a very fancy looking foyer. Lovely, lovely rugs on the ground and paintings on the wall. Mirrors gilded and fine metals. Pretty well-appointed place. You can see a beautiful dining room with blackwood tables and chairs through one doorway and a winding staircase up to the next floor. Um, and striding through the dining room, you see a rather attractive 50-something woman that fits the description of Chandra Faravan. She says, oh, hello, Delights. What is while it? We're while we're standing in the foyer, we two delights, or whoever else wishes to join, um, I, I'm just knowledge religioning. How dangerous would sustained or infrequent use of this item be if the Faravans actually do use it while ghosts are running around? Who are you asking that of? I'm asking my own brain. I got knowledge religion. Okay. I'll assist. Natural 20 from Didvaya to assist gives you a total of 25. Well, you've never actually tried it. Supposedly, these things allow nearby spirits to more easily nudge the needle. Normally, ghosts and other spirits have no ability to affect the material world, the living world. Really messed up ghosts or powerful ghosts or haunted ghosts or other things, things like they're in Harrowstone have tremendous ability to do so, but that's anomalous. That's a actually sort of an illness or a mistake. In the Phrasman view, it is a glitch in the matrix that should be corrected, basically. It's what undead are. They're a malfunctioning soul. Now, this thing allows more benign souls, sort of just anything nearby that's in the spirit world, to nudge it and see it, and detect that it's connecting them to the material world. So it allows you to ask some questions, but you don't necessarily know who you're asking. They don't necessarily they're... have to tell the truth. Wait a minute. Benign souls? Can be. Good dudes? Can be. Wait. If there are any. And the warden's office is warded so bad ghosts can't go in it? Seems like. Yes. Could we use it in the warden's office to talk to the warden? Maybe he would know useful ghost things? <laughs> Maybe. But I don't know if the bad ghosts could fuck with it while it was in there. The woman says, yes, darlings, what have you come to talk about? Hello, Lady Faravan. Uh, I present the spirit planchette. Say, so we have uncovered in our journeys a most interesting device that we thought you might be. She looks that at it and looks intrigued. Fancy. She says, oh. And she looks at you with this sort of interest slash confusion and says, but what is it? It, uh, it allows you to speak with specters. 
ghosts. I'm sure, oh. yeah, well, we, we best, you know, it best be very careful while you tinker with it, but you can ask questions of the other side, and they will move the little piece and spell out words for you. A ghost will do it. <laughs> yes, well, that is a yes. rather outrageous claim, lovelies. You'll have to demonstrate that. She turns and says, Dibble. And her servant goes, Yeah. Clear the table. He goes, Okay. Is the full party, Dismas and Envire, are you guys present with us at the Faravan home? Yes. Yeah. Might as well be. Alright. Yeah, it's good. This feels like a really fucking bad idea. <laughs> good to have everybody there for bad ideas. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, it, it, I must urge caution, I say as I put it on the table, when using this thing. For the spirits are known to be quite mischievous. Oh. What trigger? Mischievous. How delightful. <sighs> okay. I put it on a table. I think I have to start rolling will saves to make it do shit. Well... Let's see if I can actually find the fucking thing. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And then we need Lily Faravan. Boom. And then we'll pull you guys over to this lovely place. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, yeah. It's just a giant Ouija board, Josh. Oh, okay. <laughs> With a weird God little damn. token that moves and uh, can hover over certain letters. Oh. Oh, dim the lights if you would, my lady. Oh, and do you have the time? What time is it? What? When this has is... Gaspar's voice been this? This is, sales... <laughs> this is Gaspar's salesman voice. And turns into like a posh 1920s Englishman. It's his best impression of how people who buy and sell shit sound. <laughs> <laughs> she says, uh, Dibble, put on some tea and bring out those sausages from last night. Oh, fuck, sausages. He goes, okay. Walks out of the room. You guys set this thing up on the table? Yep. It's pretty much a board that you lay flat, and then you put the token on top, but it will be a Knowledge Arcana or Knowledge Religion check to understand how to use it. Um, who's got the best of one of those things? I think I have both of those things. I'm not sure how good I am at them. I have Knowledge Arcana. Um... What's your skill in it? Seven. Okay. I got a seven in Arcana and Religion, too. Tell me what's mine. Um, you are... Knowledge, Religion, five. Oh, yeah. Knowledge, Arcana, none. Oh, yeah. Is Arcana or Religion better for this? No, either one will do. Harrison, can you beat a seven? Hmm. Quite possibly. I've got... I don't know what my bonus is, but I got one rank. I got four in it. No, no. it is not better than seven. I cannot. Sorry, I didn't right. open my sheet. That doesn't count. It's not a real roll. Boom, cool. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. Seven is better than five. The math checks out. Sid, do you want to do the scary board, or do you want me to do the scary board? Um, I could do the scary board. Okay. So Kovira shall do the scary board first. Kovira shall do the scary board first. Okay. Let's take a look do at I, this thing. Do I what do I do I double click? Um, I think you just roll knowledge or cannon and ask questions of the ghost, but it's Second. I shouldn't answer for Toby, I'm a brainlet. You rest your fingers lightly upon the planchette's surface. You concentrate upon it as if maintaining a spell with the duration of concentration. For several moments while the planchette attunes itself to the ambient spirits of the area. Oh. After this time, the planchette begins to slowly slide in random patterns across the board. At this point, 
questions may be asked of the spirits by any of the individuals involved in the seance. The consequences of each question asked of the spirits depend on what type of planchette is used for divination. Now, there is a there are multiple types of planchettes. There's a brass, there is a cold iron, there is a silver. Now, the silvers are known to be very accurate. The cold irons, less so. And the brass are known to be easily corrupted by mischievous spirits who will just fuck with you or try to get you to harm yourself or play other pranks upon you. Which one's this? Uh, guess. Yeah, all right. Brass. Brass, yeah. Communications <laughs> with spirits can be a dangerous task, for many spirits are jealous or hateful of the living. Each time it's used, the user must use a will save to avoid being temporarily possessed and harmed by the angry spirits. In some areas where the spirits are particularly violent or hateful, this will save is taken at minus two. The DC of the save depends on the type of the spirit planchette being used. Anyone who fails the save becomes confused for a number of rounds and no answer is received. Okay. Uh, all right, so I have to do knowledge, roll that first, and then... First, do a will save. Oh, it's a will save first, so that is after, okay. Uh, hold on. As you place your fingers on the board, you feel the planchette tugging. Left for a while, right for a while. It begins to slide around the board in a seemingly random kind of pattern. Feels like it's sort of swaying like a boat in heavy seas or something like that. There's no sense to it. You feel a strange connection that you can't quite explain or put your finger on. You feel sort of suddenly cold and the hair on the back of your neck stands up. And the room feels unnaturally silent to you. The noise of outside fades away. The noise of the others, their voices seem sort of muffled to you, but you can still hear them. What sort of question would you like to ask? Uh, <laughs> I want to know who who is with me right now. Who is who's present on the other side? Oddly quiet. Maybe that's not the right question. <laughs> no, it's it's quiet because I think someone just put something in the dumpster and it's right underneath my window and the windows open i just got like a face full of trash smell oh, one second yeah. <laughs> sounds like the trash man is with you yeah. <laughs> trash can man sudden trash smell it was a okay. special ghost of harrowstone the dumper no <laughs> sounds like you after coffee Oh, you oh, yeah. three times a day if I have it my way. Okay, you ask who's with you? Yeah, who who is currently you know, in the space? It tugs to the left before settling on the D. Then it tugs to the right, settling on the I. Then tugs left again to the B. Floats around for a second and settles on the B again. Then floats to the right to the L settles on the E. And it begins floating back and forth. <laughs> Dibble? Is that you? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's spelled D-I-B-B-L-E. As you can see, uh, Lady Firevan, the ghosts are quite mischievous. <laughs> she says, Dibble. She turns to the butler and he goes, Yeah. Where's <laughs> <laughs> your father buried? He points out to the backyard near a pond and an old gnarled looking tree. Oh, back there. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to put him in the graveyard like a normal person? He goes, Sorry. <laughs> um. That's all the questions I have for now. <laughs> Let someone else take over. I can give it a whirl. Eh. 
Lady Fairvan, what would you like to ask of uh, Mr. Dibble as a demonstration? Mm. Well, nothing. He was a fool, and so was his son, looking at her butler. You make it talk to someone more interesting. Mm, can I knowledge religion to try and make it find somebody else? Well, as you've broken the connection with Kovira, you will have to make a connection now with Gaspar. Okay. So you have to make a will save. Oh, it's perfect. You guys ready for me to get possessed again? Hell yeah. Uh, actually, that barely makes it. The brass planchette is not, uh, not particularly strong. Okay, you feel the tug. It starts floating around the planchette, around the board. What do you ask? Uh, who are we with right now on the other side? It floats to the D. It's it's the Dibble I. again. No. <laughs> the B. B again. The L. The E. And it floats around. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Dibble. <laughs> Have you seen... Huh? Not you, Living Dibble. Father Dibble. Okay. Dibble Senior, have you... The, the priest. Have you seen any unusual activity as of late on your side of the realm? In the spirit world. Feel it tug over to the letter Y, the letter E, and the S. Why don't you just go to the top left? Anyway. Good or bad? Because I forgot this to do. <laughs> Good or bad spirits, Mr. Dibble? It's the B. Oh, the that A, answers that. <laughs> the D. Are those spirits nearby, Mr. Dibble? Both the N and the O, and then it remembers there's a word no at the top right. <laughs> <laughs> it floats back to the center. No, no. When do they come, Mr. Dibble? Oh, careful, Leia. Floats to the F. U. C. No! The K. <laughs> the y. O. U. R. A. The R again. The S. The E. Before floating free again. You feel resistance. Who am I still speaking to Mr. Dibble? Floats to the no. And floats free. Who is this now? Floats to the F. Floats to the U. Stays <sighs> there. Have we met? <laughs> floats to the w yes. yes. Then floats free. Mm. You. We'll get you like we got the Piper. I break the connection. <laughs> to the F, and then you break the connection. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are plainly multiple spirits present today, Miss Fairbairn. She says, uh, I should like to try. Uh, are you a, are you experienced in a arcane matters such as this? Are she you... says, oh, I've, I've had several seances before. I know exactly what to do. She takes the planchette from you. Uh... Starts kind of scooting it around the board forcibly. Oh, God. If she gets possessed, get ready, y'all. Okay. Uh, anybody got a, a protection from evil ready in case she fails a will save? Uh, I think I do, right, Toby? Yeah, let's prep I have one of those. The... Yeah. Um... Yeah, you have two pro evil studied because you are a paranoid motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Lady Faravan, yep. some of these ghosts can be quite 
hostile, and I believe such a ghost, such a spirit, is currently present. Now, this may be, at this particular moment, a dangerous undertaking. We are here to assist. He but... immediately starts asking it questions, like, Okay. Great spirits of the world, beyond should I invest or we are corn this season. Floats to the D, the I. No. No, dude. The C. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the S. The N. Dicks. The O. Now? The R. The K. The E. The R. Dick Snorker. No, and then to the word no, and then floats free. She says, oh, well, thinks it's humorous. She starts asking it questions about bank futures and bonds, and uh, basically she seems absolutely concerned with its ability to prognosticate money issues, which is not a thing you would ever want to do with this unless you were absolutely certain you were talking to a ghost who happened to have been a brilliant accountant. When yeah, there. or like a... <laughs> wow. Like, I don't think we should sell ghost, this to her. The ghost of Warren Buffett would be a great one to ask these questions <laughs> of, but she's probably talking to her butler or whatever fuckery is loose from Harrowstone. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Snorker. She gets a couple other answers out of it, like hussy or diseased pussy. She gets a bunch of just really dirty, angry, negative answers. Wow, takes the time to type out diseased pussy. Yeah, it takes her a while. She's like, oh, surely nuts. Yep, that's where it ends up. <laughs> she says, oh, it doesn't seem to have any valuable answers. Oh, well, perhaps if there was a... You know, uh, a late lord or a late estate owner, someone whose assets have passed to their family, you could ask them questions to get a competitive edge. No, oh, of course. And she, ooh, yeah, she says, who, she asks a, a question, who is so-and-so in town's real father? And she starts digging up some Maury Povich level gossip. And uh, the first answer she gets to that question is God only knows. And then she gets some other bullshit. She gets a couple that seem to, she thinks, give her some valuable town gossip. But that's basically what she's getting out of it now. Spilling the tea from the great beyond. Yes, the wrong knowledge in the right hands is quite, quite useful. At least entertaining. Would you uh, would you be interested in purchasing such an artifact? This is well, it's quite fun for parties, certainly. But I don't know about the the price of such things. It's not really very useful, is it? It varies from day to day. If you were to get a more knowledgeable spirit, it could be quite illuminating. Two. Unsolicited says, well, I, diplomacy check. She says, well, I, I don't think you should probably sell it in Leipzig. I couldn't give you more than 500 gold for it. Oh, but these things go for 4,000 gold in Leipzig. They're quite valuable. Exactly. The revelations I, I, made by such an object. She says, were I traveling there, I would buy it from you and sell it there for twice as much. Perhaps you should just do that. Well, I'm Sure, we could make a deal for a lady of Ravengrow and release it at sixteen hundred, shall we say? Oh, I don't think I could come up that high. No, that's under half its listed price, though. She Marvelous. seems she seems disappointed in its uh, ability to give her the sort of knowledge she would find useful. I think we're just not in the right place for that knowledge. You might want to take it to a little more of a spiritually active place. Sir, t take it up to Harriston and have buildings fall on your head like that poor professor. 
We go to Harrowstone. <laughs> what questions would you ask there for a fee? Well, I, I don't know. I, I suppose you would potentially talk to different ghosts there. She doesn't really understand how it works. You guys understood that part, but she didn't really get it. What an idiot. <laughs> Dismiss leaning on his rifle, calling her an idiot. Uh, just spoke in the whole, the whole conversation. Yep. yep. Idiot. Yeah. That's his contribution. <laughs> Would you, um. Just an angry, pious man. Just. <laughs> disgusted with a fucking political bureaucrat. Tries to understand spiritual matters and immediately use them for profit. Ugh. Sorry, go on, Tim. My lady, what is the... Is there any buried treasure or great mines of Ravengrove lost in the past 50 years you would like to speak to? This is why. Of course, we don't know what we don't know, but, uh, no. Can't think of anyone in particular. God, I hate this bitch. <laughs> we could part with this object for a thousand gold, shall we say. So I'll, I'll consider it. So come see me again in a few days, and I'll, I'll think it over. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Okay. Mr. Mr. Dibble, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, let's go to jail. Jail? Prison, Harristown. Oh, you were going to stop by the temple also? Oh, yes. yes. Okay. See Father Grimborough? Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? Hey, Father, we're trying to get more haunt siphons made, and we've struck up a deal with a local blacksmith, Jorfa, but we uh, need someone to cast spells into it so they work. Huh. All right. I'll send one of the boys over to do it. Okay, perfect. I tell them when they'll probably need him. Okay. Gets one of the acolytes and says, go over there and do whatever that dwarf needs to make this stuff. And you told him his general repose and so they pair that spell and you go over there. Thank you, sir. Sorry, Josh, I'll shut this. Sorry, he's being pretty thunderous. All right. Ah. Any other questions for him? Um, if we were going up there with just a bunch of pretty good swords and pretty good attitudes and no haunt siphons and we needed to clear an area of all evil spirits, uh, what could we do aside from hope real hard? He looks at Jinvai and he says, Chandlin, positive. Positive channeling. Pretty good. How do we how do we suss out what these spirits are tied to? How do we suss out how to actually get rid of them? Not just dispel them for a few days. You guys know that ghosts like this can be tied to an event. They could be tied to an item. They could be tied to their own corpse or their remains. They could be tied to a living person, to each other. There's a number of things. Well, uh, I think the letters and the killings are definitely like part of the high influx of fuckle we've been seeing here the last few months. But event-specific? Hmm. 
Hmm. It would be the fire, but yeah, fire. the fire. How do we how do we resolve the fire? I mean, the fire's done. How how do we resolve if they're tied to an event? Got to do a new event. Big party in Harrowstone. Whoa. Fucking rave time. <laughs> Okay. Well, let's go search the Piper's part of the prison for crew clues. Crew clues. Crew clues. What's the spell that we put in the hot siphon? Could we just cast that spell in his area and that would get rid of him? Gentle repose can be used on a corpse to prevent it from being turned into undead, and sometimes it can release a ghost from a being tied to its own demise. Okay. Yeah, let's go up there and try and do that. We got that spell? Uh, I mean, I can... I have access to it, right, Toby? Yep. So I could cast it, but I'd have to, like, you know, not, not prepare pro-evil or something. Switch a, You'd have to switch a second-level spell for that one. Oh, okay, well, well, I have, like, one second-level spell? You'd have to give up your resto lesser. And I've been carrying that because we keep taking ability damage, right? Yeah. General Pose, you any... preserve the remains of a dead creature so they do not decay. Doing so effectively extends the time limit on raising that creature from the dead. Additionally, this spell makes transporting a slain and thus decaying comrade less unpleasant. Yeah, General Pose, weird spell for a haunt siphon to be made out of, but that's what it's made out of. We can probably ditch the Resto Lesser because the Piper of Ilmarsh was the one who was making us suffer a negative con. Well, and the the, oh, yeah. the swarms, weren't the swarms doing some kind of damage to us? Yeah, they were his. Yeah. A lot of ghosts tend to cause ability damage. Yeah. Let's hope that... Uh, None of these are those. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Does the 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 the, 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 the priestesses have any scrolls of resto or general repose? I might. Also, did we ever learn more about the splatter man and or? Father Charlatan. Yes. Because I know we got the Lopper, Mosswater Marauder, and the Piper, but... We kept striking out on one of them, though, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. Spider-Man's celebrated professor of anthro-something-something, -something, commuted a number of Hainor committed. murders, is what okay. I've got. <laughs> <laughs> commuted a number of Hainor murders. Ah, uh, the classic Hainor murders. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can have those notes. Throw him in there for you. And uh, then Father Charlatan was just a con artist. What's that, Josh? Uh, Toby asked the, the Father Grimbo if they, if they have any scrolls of Resto or <laughs> General Repose. They have scrolls of Sanctify Corpse, which might be what you're looking for. Um... No, they mostly have weenie level scrolls and wands. <laughs> the weenie hut junior. They've well, got if we can find his corpse and bring it back here. Like What'd you say, Toby? I'm sorry. Sorry. They have wands of like cure light, -like, cure mod, stuff like that. Uh, what was the what was the 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 corpse one? You just said. We could bring um, his corpse back here and fuck with it. Sanctify oh, corpse. Blesses a corpse with positive energy, preventing it from being turned into an undead creature. Attempts to raise a corpse. A corpse has an automatic fail. If the corpse is a person is of a person slain by a creature that creates undead out of its slain foes, such as a vampire, that is delayed until the end of the spell. It's possible to protect a corpse for an extended time by casting this spell repeatedly. I think it has a long duration. Uh, would it? How much is that? Uh, those are twenty-five gold. Should we get some of those and take with us? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, raw. Oh, raw. Um, how much gold do I have? I can pay for it. I got the extra money from the painting. Okay. I'm gonna get two or three of those. Yeah, we'll get. Couple. We'll get three of them. Wait, three is a sanctify corpse. <laughs> what is the spell? Sanctify corpse. It seems like it does some. That could be useful. Yeah, we'll get three of them. I will subtract the gold. Put them on me, Toby. Put them on me. Okay. Oop, I bought it. Three of them on Dinvaya now. What's next? We go to prison. Uh, do we need to check in with uh, Kendra or... Jorm, more, 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 but that's these nuts, girl. Jorfa, Jorfa, yeah. Jorfa. I don't think we want her with us. We just send. Um... No, I'm just saying. Do we need to check in with either of those before we head up there? No, I think we're good. Okay. March back up the hill. That at this point you know pretty well to get back to the prison called Harrowstone. Yeah. 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 Bah. Fucking kick in the door and storm the place, yeah. Yeah, I think we can go up on the balcony again to get into where we were. You want to go back upstairs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're back upstairs. You feel the floor moving as it often does creaking and groaning under your steps, but pretty firm. There are shattered skeleton remains everywhere around you. Oh, There's lots Tommy of blood Long splatters on the floor from you guys. Oh yeah, we did take some blood. We did. Probably spilled some too, of our own. Okay. Let's start. Wait, we have prison records. Hang on. Which cell was this fucker in? I also... Did we open all the doors last time we were here? We should probably clear out this floor. I think everything on this floor tried to kill us last time we were here. All the doors open, but you're right. We haven't searched individual cells. Yeah. Um, we, gonna... do a, we do a stim to stern search. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to check uh, the prison intake documents to see if I can find what cell they kept the Rowdy Rowdy Piper in. Okay. Roll your knowledge religion. At plus two from the document. Sorry, okay. I think I just rolled about 14 times, Toby. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. <laughs> just take the lowest roll. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see. Oh, where'd you guys go? Oh. <clears throat> I'm not here, Lev. Lev! Just a oh. second. I was probably running away too much. I know you'll you'll fuck us if we do that. Don't don't yeah don't run away. <laughs> Stay together. Stay. Right. Oh wait. Oh no. <laughs> no wait. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not the spiral. Covira. <sighs> You As you're down walking the down the halls <laughs> alone. God damn it. And you hear them arguing behind you, looking through the papers and arguing about how to spell the word heinous or if the word heinor <laughs> is actually a word. <laughs> and if you can commute something into a murder, you're walking down, peering through different doors, curiouser and curiouser. And all of the doors have a certain bit, bit of wear and tear, but they aren't as worn as they should be. You come to the south here, and there's one door that's completely knocked off the hinges, and your mind starts working on what broke it down. It looks like it was broken down from the inside. Your mind just naturally kind of puts together how was this, you know, committed. And you step a little farther south, 
you suddenly feel a little chill and a great sense of curiosity about this door right next to you. And okay. as you approach, you find yourself opening it. Fuck. As you look in, you see an empty room with the sun pouring in through iron grating on the south end. To, I actually can't see the light in the entire room, by the way. I don't know yeah. if that's like a... I'm okay. not sure why that is, but let's see. Um, <laughs> that's just saying, yeah, that's how it's going to be. Actually, I think I need to fix your dark vision, which I'm doing right now. Boom. 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 Okay. Your eyes adjust, and you see into the shadows that there's nothing. You notice that in every other cell, there is a lot of debris, shattered objects, in many cases, shattered bones, signs of struggles. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of the cells have really dark things to find, like, claw marks from human hands on the floor and walls. And this one looks more clean, more orderly. There's not much damage in here. There's definitely less debris. There's just some leaves and dust blown in from the window as you approach the south end of it and turn to the right and see what probably was a cot, but it's rotted away to nothing. You see a wash basin, a bucket that's sort of rotted into disrepair. And you feel a strange exhaustion come over you. And you feel yourself falling towards the floor. You kind of catch yourself and lay down. And the most desperate thing in the world is you just want to close your eyes and go to sleep. And you do. You feel like you're sleeping incredibly well rested like you're just this is the best sleep ever and you don't want to wake from it and then you feel sort of a strange tingling sensation on your face Kovira, you wake up to snowflakes floating through the bars of this window landing on your face and they feel cold uh, little ice crystals stab your skin and you're like oh that's Almost delightful, but it's pretty tough to sleep through that. And you realize there's a light dusting of snow everywhere around you that wasn't here when you fell asleep. And you sort of wake up and remember falling asleep on this floor and look around you, and it looks like a lot of time has passed. It's now clearly wintertime. You look outside, and everything's covered in snow. The sky is clear and blue. The air is very cold. And snow is drifting at you from a cloud front that's passing over. Well. <laughs> oh, man. Um, all right. Let me Damn just think of... Vera. I know. <laughs> mm. I don't know whether to try to stay and get back or go here. Hold on. Get up and look around. I was gonna, but I feel like that already got me in trouble. Oh, <laughs> did the I'm door close? Sure on? I'm making sure you just oh. don't run around through the facility like you tend to do. <laughs> you wake up and turn around and you hear someone say, Vera, you okay? Who is it? <laughs> You turn and see your old friend. Oh, am I giving her? <laughs> your old friend from Lepstad, who says, I, I wasn't sure if we could bring you back or not. She's holding a strange device. It looks almost like a pistol with a giant injector and a clear tube with a long needle. And it's clearly fully spent, and she's just kind of holding it casually back. It's You can see that it's empty. And you suddenly notice a, a, like a strange, itching, slightly stinging hole in your neck where you think she just stabbed you with it. Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> what was in that? <laughs> she says, this cost me... 
thousands. I, I, I had someone come to me and tell me that you had died in, in Raven Grow in some strange place. And I, I, frankly, I sold a lot of my stuff to get here and, and I found you laying here dead. <laughs> Toby, did I get myself killed? <laughs> Seems like. Oh, fuck. Well, it's winter. How long did did I seem like I was dead for very long or what's going on here? She says you were just laying here like there's not a not a mark on you, but you were definitely dead and and cold and uh, she said frankly slightly rotten, but they told me this oh. would they told me this would restore you and you it, it worked. You look fine and you you started moving and breathing within a minute or two of me injecting it into your 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 neck. Yeah, but where's where are all of my friends? Where's the the Cepus group? All the the guys I was with. We were doing an investigation, and I guess I C walked a little C too far. Cepus, she said, Kovir, you haven't <laughs> you haven't been to Leipzig in seven months, almost eight. Cepus oh. is all different people now. Well, I went with. We left Lepstadt to to go to Ravengrow to solve a a murder. Um, so yeah, no, I it, it was a planned leave. I'm I'm not sure if we're on the same timeline here, but timeline. Did I'm so confused? No, you. <laughs> she she says you came here with with others. Were they uh I, uh. Their names were dis in, and a couple of armored men, one with a rifle and one with a long blade. Yeah. There was a maybe a, a woman that was an elf or, or something like that. Yeah. That that sounds right. Yeah, I left she, with them. I, I didn't she disappear. Looks, from... She looks very, very sad and looks down and says, You're not the first body I found when I came up here. I think <sighs> your friends are dead. Can I? Are, okay. Well, can you? Can we go look? I don't really know if I should okay. do that, but. Okay. You killed us all. all you. Time. You killed us. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> How do I get out? <laughs> oh my god. Killed us. Playing the door game suddenly. You <laughs> remember walking. Up through here, you are on the second floor of Harrowstone. Everywhere that there is a window, there is snow blown in. And it is very, very cold here. Much colder than you remember when you when you left. How do we get locked in here for the winter? Fuck. Uh, guys? She's, she said you came here for something with Tsipos. By the way, you look and see your friend is right next to you. She's walking with you. She is, uh, you remember that she's a famous bard in Lepstadt, a famous violinist, and she's wearing what you immediately recognize as her travel gear. You, Everyone in Lepstadt knows her as an amazing performer, mm -hmm. but you know that she's a traveling like adventurer. She's wearing her armor. She's wearing her like travel skirts, her travel boots. She has a rapier on her hip and a violin case on her back. She has her hair pulled up into sort of travel configurations. She's she's out here, you know, looking looking for dead friends. She's in sort of uh, fighting gear. Okay, got it. You remember her name is Sherry. Sherry. C H E R I. Ah, yes, I always called her Cherry in grade school to make fun of her. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Did you clear you the remember, area when you... You yeah, remember strange things about her, like in, in primary school, primary. one of the teachers had a foreign accent and referred to her as Cherie. Cherie. So sometimes oh, well, you call her that. That sounds like a weird relationship between her and the teacher. Cherie. Oh, mon Cherie. Mon Cherie. Mon Cherie. Well, she walks... 
yeah. through the hall towards the last place you saw your friends, and you Did see you... a body laying in the snow oh my ahead of you. God. <laughs> Oh, fuck. You see three bodies as you turn the corner. I come around the corner and I'm hit with such shock at at their three bodies that I look away for a second. As you if see that looking away would make them alive again when I look back. They are all covered in that dusting of snow. <laughs> what are we in the fucking upside down? Jesus. <laughs> How... Well, when did we disappear from Ravengrow? Does did, did who sent you here? How did you know to come here? She said I hired a seer to tell me where you were, and they said Ravengrow, and that you had died, and so I went and bought this, this raised dead device and <laughs> brought it here. And it's out of juice, I see. Good. Um, how long? <laughs> how long ago was that? Uh, about a month. It took me a long time to get here. A month, okay. Well, is there any way to, like, see how long, like, can I roll anything to see how long they've been dead? Sure. You want to wipe some snow off of them? Yeah. I'll, I'll just, Gaspar's the closest, I'll wipe snow off a of Gaspar. Oh my god. <laughs> kill, 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 kill. Oh. You guys could keep whispering creepy shit if you want to. No. <laughs> I think Josh just did something from what is that? Is that Jason does that? Yeah. I think it, it well, reminds what was... what you, it reminds me of Mad Max where his kids are like, You killed us. <laughs> Um, you didn't save us. No. <laughs> you could have. Why did you leave us to die? <laughs> I'm hearing weird whispering that I am the cause of their deaths. I don't think I was the brute in this group. I don't think I would have been the cause of it, but I guess they definitely could have used a fourth. Okay. You want to roll uh, a healing check on their remains yep. as you uncover the snow i'm not very skilled in it uh but you can use perception percep or survival I was gonna ask if you're better at that i was gonna ask for perception so that'd okay. be great gaspar is clutching his sword in one hand it's laying partially underneath him and he has a big hole in the chest of his armor right around the heart area looks like it's oh. Pressed inward by something. Love that. Does the seven? A... I'm thinking if she what could survival or not. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I mean, I yeah, have it. Survival is yeah, even more appropriate than perception for this. Oh, uh, well, apparently not, because no one survived. <laughs> uh. Uh. Gaspar has a bullet hole in the chest okay. area of his armor. Looks like it went right into his heart. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Um let's go to Dismas. Okay. Do I have to roll for each one? Uh yeah. Ah fuck, okay. Oh well, let's hope Dismas didn't shoot him. Yeah, how anyway, did I die? Any way to look at that. Oh, you uncover Dismas' body and you see that his rifle is in the position where he has just fired. The chamber is empty. And oh. the bolt latch has not even been pulled back, which he would normally do almost instinctively right after firing. But the side of his head is crushed by blunt force trauma. Oh, my God. It came okay. somewhere from his near front left. Left, yeah. Figured you are going to say that. Okay. Oh, my God. Just rolling worse and worse each time. For That's for Dinvaya. Dinvaya is covered in slash wounds. She's been deeply cut across the side of the neck collarbone area, through the hip in between armor plates, and then stabbed deep on the inner thigh. Probably hit one of those big arteries there. Um, 
The Fimbor Archer is what we call that. Can I inspect my sword? I mean, it looks like they all attacked each other, and I might have been involved. Mm -hmm. But What's your initial perception check was 17? Um, yeah. You notice a symbol that... Uh, you, I mean, you see their, their, their gear looks sort of worn. Almost rust is appearing as if they've been laying here in the snow and weather for months. They okay. are pretty badly rotted, but you recognize them mostly by their gear. And you can see mm -hmm. their uh, holy symbols as they're all religious folks. Um, then Vaya's holy symbol appears to be a like in the shape of a large fly with eyes on its mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I have an idea. Can I? Are Are we still carrying the blan the blanchette, the we Ouija board? I never say it right. It was yeah. in my bag. I could try to talk to them. Holy Let's fuck! If... <laughs> They're like, what the fuck happened? Okay, I'm gonna look in. Oh, is there a way to look in his inventory? I'm assuming it's there, but yeah, you start to dig through his stuff. There's sort of ice. Okay. You have to break ice around his body, and his corpse is kind of bloated. You notice his holy symbol is a five-pointed red star on a circular silver medallion. Oh, are these holy? Okay. Hold on, sorry. Um, did I get Dismas's? I should probably actually note that. You would he is I, I also, his Metal Gear Five. is rusted, his gun is rusted, yeah. he's been in the elements for a long time, and his holy symbol looks like a skull with lightning bolts behind it. Because yeah, I'm like really cool in the... It's like a really cool thing sick. to be into. Yeah. But... <laughs> um... Sherry, have you talked to anyone in the town about us? No one in the town would 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 talk to me. There's not really anybody left. Um What? Yeah, I passed through it. I was told not to even walk through it, but you know, locals are so superstitious. I walked through it and I di I didn't see anybody. Did you happen to pass a large mansion on your way in? Yeah, there's a bunch. They're all pretty run down. Uh, that's true. Up. Okay, doesn't really look like anyone's there. We could check out the temple in a bit, but I'm gonna try here. I'm I'm gonna keep. Did I find the the board in Gaspar's backpack? I know I kind of stopped rummaging midway. Yeah, you do. It's oh, there. okay. Can I can I use it? <laughs> or is that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you want to have... clear a spot out on the ground, like you clear away the snow and yeah, yeah. lay it flat here on the ground. And uh, you know, try and try and use it. Try and see if any of them are here. Yeah, this is. Wait a minute. This is probably the worst place to do that. I just realized it's like teeming with evil spirits. But I figured mm, these guys. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> um Going great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm still a little bit in shock at what's happening, so um Yeah, I'll, I'll just lay it down, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go in and see what's happening. What do you got to lose? It's not like I can die again. You know? I guess not, apparently. I don't know if I'm dreaming or not, or if we all actually died, so <laughs> feels pretty real uh these are the found holy symbols oh yeah i know does that look right to you <laughs> i'm walking around evil goat i know you've been you've been pointing me toward the holy symbols i don't know should i i don't know what to do with them does this look wrong are these not their bodies as you well, look at him, you hear Sherry from behind you. You're like holding Gaspar's five pointed star in your hand, and Sherry says, Your friends are into some bad shit. 
No, they weren't. Looks like they were. This, they Looks were, like they, they turned were, on each other. I mean, if they turn on each other, it's because they were possessed, but they they are part of the Temple of Phrasma. They're, they're good. They're not, they're, they were never into bad shit as far as I'm concerned, so this doesn't roll, seem right to me. Roll sense motive. Yeah. <laughs> good <laughs> great <laughs> sherry just, some... just kind of shakes her head and squints at you when you say phrasma she looks again at the symbols and she's got this look on her face like that's obviously not the case she's sort of questioning your judgment fucking gaslighting me over here <laughs> <laughs> i cast gaslighting true yeah <laughs> <laughs> Make her save um, or get way super pissed, and yet it's still your fault. Uh, I don't. I'm trying to figure out if I have to. I don't think I have to detect. I'm gonna like detect evil on her, but I don't think I have it. Is detect evil a skill or a spell? I know that's a silly a question, but it is. No, uh, it's a good question. It's a spell. I don't have it, rats. Um. Well, despite rolling a seven, I still feel uneasy, even if I'm not able to sense what she's a. Uh, okay. What she's you doing, but are trained in the recognition of holy symbols. You can roll knowledge religion on these. If you I want. did not know that. I was okay. Yeah, I will do that. Twelve. They're pretty, pretty. You're not sure what the fly is, but it's definitely not a good guy deity, and the. The face with the weird star on it, like skull with a star in it, is also not a good guy. You're not sure who it is. And you're absolutely certain, because you are a tiefling, that the five-pointed star is Asmodeus, yeah. <laughs> the evil, Asmodeus. lawful evil god of contracts. Definitely Tim. <laughs> uh, lawyer god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can almost hear a ghostly voice going, I am not your attorney. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, I'm not allowed to give you legal advice. I am not an attorney. This is not Just legal could this... counsel. Well, uh, what? So I actually, um, in in the world of D and D, I really, I don't know what the holy symbol is. Do these just sit like in in D and D lore? Is this like who they actually theoretically who they would actually um. Yeah, worship, Kavir worship knows and that work for. If you're a cleric of Phrasma and you're wearing a medallion of Asmodeus around your neck, you are you not ain't. getting your spells from Phrasma. <laughs> yeah. You might not be able to cast at all, but there are some deities who are the gods of like deception or deceit. They can make their holy symbols look different. But ninety nine percent of the time when you see someone wearing a holy symbol, that means that's who they're allied with. That's who they are, spiritually speaking. All right. Well, these guys would not shut the fuck up about Phrasma, so I, <laughs> I don't, I do, I, I know for, I know for a fact something is amiss. Dism Dismas would fucking say like Our Lady <laughs> and fire. So I, pretty, pretty sure, <laughs> pretty sure this is not right. I mean, could it be this? Also, let me know if I'm metagaming. Sometimes I'm not sure if I am. So, um, could these oh. be the symbols of of spirits that possessed them i mean i'm not convinced they're dead or i'm dead as well um, oh, we'll in save. my mind okay oh good lord <laughs> hold on okay so i couldn't find out a ton about these where are my saves now okay you hear voices above you like in the clouds in the sky they feel like they're they're echoing across the sky through the roof through the holes in the roof mm -hmm. distantly you can't understand them it's like hearing people talk three rooms away and you feel like you want to answer them but what word would you say if i wanted to answer them yeah
Beetlejuice. No, just kidding. Um, okay. Nope. <laughs> no. You're going to learn not to fuck with me, bud. <laughs> Rest of the party. Rest of the party. Now, Sid, pause Pause your situation for just a second. Okay. The rest of the party is standing up here, just where you were, looking through a bunch of oh. fucking paperwork, trying to figure oh, out God. what the hell's going on. And you hear <laughs> Kovira from somewhere to the south go, Beetlejuice! <laughs> what do you three um. do? Shit. The fuck? She sounds pained. It sounds like she's taking a poop, maybe? <laughs> she's just screamed Beetlejuice. Don't know what it means. Nobody does, because it's metagame. You guys check that out. I'm trying to find the fucking Piper. Govira, come <laughs> back here. What are you doing? Don't hear any we... answer. Govira? Uh... I cast pro evil on myself and I go down to work over here with. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, when she doesn't see. answer, that becomes suspect. How do I get pro evil? Form up. Form up. Let me go ahead and click this on you. Get, there you go. get thou behind me. Turn on the buff. You have the buff I'm on now. Sure. I'll take one. Okay. You guys get behind me. Oh, no, he's got pro I evil. Got pro evil. Go fuck first. off. Get fucking behind me, dumbass. <laughs> okay, Jeez. Jesus, oh, fuck. There's more skeletons here. I need a rematch. I'm sorry, uh, Nancy. One second. I need to fix the dark vision on Din Baez token also. I forgot. I would appreciate that. Thank you. I, I, mm -hmm. Yeah. I forgot that the update changed how they word that. So fixing, fixing. Okay. Din Baez, at the end of the hall. My fucking creature. At the end of the hall to the south. You don't see anybody in the south hallway, which is Kovira's last known location. Okay. And at the end of the hall to the south, there is an open door that you don't think was open before. All the cells to the left or right of you have, looks like, little holes to pass food through. A hole you can open to just see into the cell or to speak with someone in it. The door at the very end of the hall is solid iron, and around the edges, your blacksmith's eye catches extra layering of soft wood bordering, which you would only do if you wanted to fully seal a cell and basically soundproof it. And that door is standing open and looks relatively undamaged compared to everything else around here. All the cells I'm passing are empty? Yeah, you can look through the grating and see that there's or there's shattered skeletons laying in them. The one okay. at the end of the hall, the door is open, you don't see anything in it, and there's no debris or mess inside. Okay, I go towards the open door. Okay. You step in to what looks like an empty room that then el him. elbows to the west after. you To the south, you see a window facing outside. You look outside Harrowstone, everything looks normal, sunlight's creeping in, and as you turn the corner to your know. right on a shattered cot is Kovira laying on her back, wrapped head to toe in glowing ghostly chains, which are sliding and slinking around her like a constrictor snake and squeezing her neck and body. Her arms and Thank legs you. are pinned and her eyes are open. She's staring at the wall and having some kind of conversation. She looks like she's actively speaking, but no sound is coming out, and this room is absolutely silent right now. You're not sure how she screamed, Beetlejuice. Uh, was her spellcraft tell me anything? Roll spellcraft. You have 24. You are in a silence effect. And you are looking at ghost chains, and your perception check is not that great. You rolled a natural one. It's a okay. total of 13. The chains are attached to the walls around the shattered cot. Uh, fuck. But uh, they're ghostly chains. They're barely visible. They're so translucent. Oh, fuck me. Okay, uh, do I know how to... I don't have to spell magic, so 
that I know how to defeat ghostly chains. If there's an evil ghost in front of you, you could thump it with positive channeling. Okay, I do so. Uh, was it Chan 1? Chan uh, two? Yeah, I think Chan 1 is... Maybe Chan 2 is offensive channeling. Does that make sense? Chan 1 would be healing channeling. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to gonna come out of this with like negative 10 con <laughs> like how'd you sleep terribly as you blast with positive channeling a figure appears in the room holding the other end of the chains over her and it holds its hand up like trying to block the light of your positive channeling and as he appears the room is bathed in sort of a blue light the sunlight ceases to come in from outside feels dim in here like the only light is coming from him and he is a huge hunched over man holding a staff he has chains wrapped around his body he's wearing tattered priest robes and he has half a dozen holy symbols hanging off of him he is just barely barely visible he's mostly transparent and he glares at you and but he doesn't say anything, and he turns back towards Kovira, and he looks like he's speaking, but you can't hear him or understand what he's saying. And she's speaking back, and he's pulling the chains tighter. Uh, 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 does he look like the descriptions of the any of the, the ghosts we know were killed here? Can the rest of us move? Yes. You guys can come in the room. You hear Dinvaya channel positive at this scene, and... She just turns the corner, and you hear her instantly. And Dismas and Gaspar, you're both paladins. You know offensive channeling when you hear it. She has seen an undead. Otherwise, she wouldn't have done that. I, I'm silent, so I can't say it, but I I mouth, bite the pillow, Father Charlatan. I'm going in dry. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's been years since I've heard it, Timmy. Thank you. Thank you. You're so bite welcome. The, bite the pillow? Is that a thing bite, that we've heard yep. before? Going, yep. Bite the bite pillow, the pillow I'm going, I'm going dry. He looks like I, he's he looks like he's like barely there. So he's yes. uh so he's probably, you know, so incorporeal that I can't hit him with a regular masterwork sword. Yeah. non magic weapons would have probably zero effect. And you think magic <laughs> weapons would have very limited. It's your lucky day, Bucko. I'm fucking magic Mike in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit uh, those, are, those are the gold knuckles plus one they are plus one magic and Fucking you have wow. bum punch yeah you have struck at him and you feel it mostly pass through but it does connect in some small capacity Fucking barely, barely touches him I crit him too yep that helped, but... I will continue to punch him every feasible cooldown, so just tell me when I can punch him again. Okay. Perception check. Dismas, do you want to do anything? I want to shoot it. I mean... Is he... Can he take damage? He's a ghost, right? He's ghost in a different way than you've ever seen before. He is just so barely there. Feel like Can he's he... more a part of the environment than he is really an individual being. Mm. He's a great candidate for positive channeling or a haunt siphon. I know you and Gaspar are both direct damage dealers, though. Uh, Roll me a perception check. Po a positive, positive energy. How does yeah. positive energy do that? Positive energy hurts ghosts a lot. Um, you guys have lay on hands already, right? I do, mm -hmm. which would hurt him. That would hurt him also with your 21 perception check. You see that he is locked in combat, not with you three, but with Kovira. With, she oh. is staring at him, arguing with him. She's actually got one hand free and is like waving a finger at him, admonishing him, him. And looks like they are having a heated argument and she is being choked out by the chains. I had wondered why we hadn't rolled initiative. Well, um... Then I would like to. Not that every. Not that everything is a nail, uh, to a hammer, but I feel like smiting shot will still work. 
against this man. Will. Uh, you also think that, uh, like we discussed, your lay on hands could hurt him or help her. Mm -hmm. Or hurt me. Probably or not. Hopefully not, unless he really is a follower of whatever I gave him, fucking Xyphus. Um, yeah, okay. Just in case, like, he's very weak and outright into, like, destroying him. Would I'll lay on hands him and see what effect that has. Okay. You reach out. Oh, do a, do a melee touch attack for me. Just a melee. Oh, yeah. You can use make sure it uses your dex, not your strength. You reach out and touch him, and you can barely get him, although you feel that the the light in your hands is burning him very little. Uh, but you, you feel it burn him. And you as you grab him, the chains brush across your light-touched hands as you reach out, and you feel the chains are somewhat tangible, at least while your hands are charged with holy energy. Mm. Oh. Uh, Dinvaya, your turn. We're not doing initiative because he's locked in a thing with Kovira, and yeah. she's locked in a thing with him, and you three are just going to take turns. Um, uh, can I fight him? You already are. I guess I, I guess I already am. Yeah. You already did, and uh, I'll fill you in later. But you did well. Uh, Other than yelling Beetlejuice, that was stupid. <laughs> I JK gathered. <laughs> I gathered. It was dumb. <laughs> uh. Only because I don't think it's what you really meant to say. But in moments like that, I will take what the first thing that flies out of your mouth as in character. <laughs> I know, and I knew that, and I still, <laughs> I still poked the bear. <laughs> it's, it's not, I don't think it's gonna cost her anything, but it was funny. Anyway, it, Josh, what do you think? Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't have spiritual weapon. Does that does this hand to act like does that kind of act like my spiritual weapon? It does, but it does physically throw your actual physical weapon. damage. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's still physical damage. Yeah. Okay, unlike okay. regular spiritual weapon. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's what I wanted to differentiate. Make sure I understood that correctly, Dan. Oop, sorry. I think you do have the spell spiritual weapon. I don't. I don't think I have it prepared though. Do I? I think it's your domain. I didn't let you switch it. Like restoration is the one you chose to prepare, and spiritual weapon is when you have to prepare because it's your domain. So I do have it or don't have it. I'm you do. Use. I do. Uh -huh. So I can and spiritual weapon does do four damage. So I could cast that on him. Yeah. And I could just start pummeling him in the back of his head. Yeah, you could try. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. You can spiritual weapon. And under your attacks, do I have a macro for this? Uh, yeah, try slash SW. Slash SW, okay. You throw the spiritual weapon and uh, a ghostly version of your, your mace appears and swings at him and you see it mostly pass through him. It does do some damage, but it's greatly reduced. Okay, okay. In fact, having seen that, you're now convinced that he's not a conventional ghost. He's really more like a haunt. He is a force of evil over the entire area, and his body okay. is not really his body. It's just sort of the appearance of it. There. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. That's why all of you are having trouble affecting him directly. Gotcha, okay. We need ghost touch stuff, don't we? Mm -hmm. Even that would struggle with this, because he's not really a... A single entity ghost. He's everywhere here. But would it be better? A little. Dismas. I know you uh, or uh, Gasper. Gosh. Gasper oh. is next. You're right. Sorry. I want to use this bloodstained hand axe on him because it's ghost touch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else? I got magic knuckles. Uh, I don't have. We left the holy symbols. Well, let me check my. Um. I have the holy symbols on my sheet. We turned in the spell book. Like the the chains, all the cursed. tangled holy symbols. You talking, yeah. you're talking about? I thought we gave all that to Father Grimbro. 
Yeah, I thought we did too. I don't have... Hang on. Yeah, maybe we did give him everything and he shouldn't be here. I think that's what we talked about doing. Whether yeah. we did that or not, I'm not totally positive on it, but I thought that's what we talked about doing. I also don't remember if we gave it all to him. Because he has that whatever place he can hold it where they can't fucking do shit. Right. Yeah, I'll just assume that none of this stuff is actually in my inventory because I think we would have turned it all over. We're usually pretty okay. cautious about that kind of shit. Okay. Um, what about Undead Bane? Would that be good? I got an Undead Bane arrow. I think to try it, but it's still physical. It's still an object that's got to pass through him. He'll still get probably most of his damage reduction from it. All right, I'll just keep punching him. Punch him in the face. <laughs> You, this is my rematch. You strike at him a little bit. You feel your hand pass largely through him, like punching water. Is Damn. Damn. All right. I'm going to shoot him this time. You, that's pretty terrible. Your bullet ricochets around in the corner and nearly hits, uh, it's one of you guys, but you just kind of see sparks fly and it doesn't hit any tangible part of him. Shit. Dunva. Sorry. You, you notice that Kovira's eyes are starting to, to droop, like she's about to pass out. She's not arguing as fervently as she was before, and he is pulling the chains tighter around her neck. when I try to get into an argument. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, that sounded... Uh, my jokes are off today. No one listens. Dirty. Your mic's Dirty. too far away from your head, but I missed yeah. the slanderous thing you said about me. I believe it was you, Choker, when you argue. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Can we get those god. chains off of her? Fuck's sake. I think it's affecting me, IRL. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn, Toby? Yeah, what you think? Uh, so spiritual weapon is still up, right? Yep. Okay, so do it again. That. You see it strikes and appears to do a tiny bit of damage. Uh, and then I can also cast, right? Yep. Because that doesn't take any. Okay. That's a move action. Yeah, it just stays okay. You blast him with positive energy. You see that actually seems to do a little more than the the other attacks have. Mm -hmm. You can see that burning away part of his essence. And you see Kavira kind of gasp for air as you hit him with positive energy. Uh. Is it my turn? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks like these chains on her are kind of magical. Um, Break these cuts. I'd, I'd like to try and if if there's a if I can weaken the chains by hitting them with the gold knuckles. Like okay. Christmas was able to touch them a little bit okay. with his electro hands. Either that or try yeah. to tie them off of her with the knuckles. Okay. Do you have lay on hands also? No, you're Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Okay. Can I at will turn shit into lay on hands? I don't, I don't think, think so. you have that. There's probably some weird Inquisitor shit. Let me look real quick. Nope, nope, Come on, look nope. it up. Nope, nope. Nah, I don't get that. Um, I switch my judgment to do plus one damage. And then I start trying to punch a link in the chain. Okay. I'm going to try that. You feel the knuckles connect with the chain, 
and you kind of hook them underneath it and you're able to sort of pull on one of the chains away from him and towards her, which gives her a little slack. And you see her reach up with both of her hands, still looking, glaring at him and arguing with him and pull it looser. And it looks like she's heaving in air. Dismas. Uh, I again try to shoot this man. It's attacking my friend. Oh. Better. You shoot and you see it blast away part of the ghostly essence on him and it still remains. The bullet you also see the bullet ricochet and throw sparks as it hits the wall with great force. Did it look like it did like it did more than the first one? It did a little bit. Did a little bit. <laughs> How long does virtual weapon last to be? Oh, quite a long, like at least a round level. Okay, we're only like third. I'll look it up. I think it's around per level. Nah, I think it's like a day per level. Josh casts it. <laughs> you Damn, see a spiritual weapon level. strike him for a little bit of damage, and then you see the channel positive hit. And when the channel positive hits, he squints like he's sort of blinded by the light for a second. And he loosen he like loses grip on a chain link or two before he grabs it again. And that gives her more slack. And she sort of starts to try to rise to her feet, still pulling the chains away from her neck. But she gets one leg free and one arm free and is trying to stand. Hmm. Avira, you can actually make a will save. So is he wound up like a douche? Another runner in the night? <laughs> wow. He is kind of wound up like a douche. What the hell are you guys quoting? Wound up like a douche. Another runner in a night. Blinded by the love. I asked. I did ask. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Kovira, you win some other round of a contest of wills with him. And you may say one word. Okay. <laughs> the next word I hear Sydney say will be what Kovira says. Help. Help. Yeah. Okay. You guys hear her clearly, even through the silence, go, help. And she's trying to pull the chains off of her neck. Okay. <laughs> Should have been my first fucking word. Uh, what was her, what was her uh, last uh, will save, Toby? Her last will save was... This one was a 13. Okay. Not great, my turn not again? terrible. Yeah. Yep. Great. I continue <laughs> to punch the chain. Okay. What's... You punch the chain, you feel a little bit of connection to it. You almost feel like the... Brass knuckles can touch it. You can't, but they can. What's the what's the what's the break DC on these chains? Uh, what's the break? You want to break these cuffs? I want to break these cuffs. What's the what's? Yeah, if these cuffs were were say like a a lock, uh, mechanically. What, You're not what? sure. They don't look like that amazing. They actually look really crude and and sort of rusty and discolored what little you can see of texture on them because they're so transparent but you do notice that when you had the the lay on hands while you were doing that they felt tangible in your hands they felt like you could grab them uh, can i can i blast lock on these chains you could try but so far your bullets have been passing through it pretty in uneventfully like you're can, the difference is can I, can I lay on hands on these chains you could try can i sorry the difference is okay the different what is the difference it's the difference between your smite ability adding divine energy to a physical object and you adding divine energy to your own hands like you you would have a hard time grasping the chains with a bullet but 
while you are charged yeah. up with a about to touch attack but haven't done it yet play on hands you uh you are partially in the spirit world and partially in the real world for that instant uh, although you could hold it if you charge up a lay on hands I and could... don't deliver it it'll just be in your hands oh well like, like would, when a I Magus would... does shocking grasp and it... misses they remain yeah. charged if I can purposefully do that and have sussed out the information that you just gave me, I would like to hold the lay on hands in my hands. He's forming some and, theories. And uh, and try and literally break those cuffs. Okay, so what does he try to do? He does... Go ahead and spend your ability. Yeah. Uh, I grab the... Uh, okay. I grab the chains... Are they real chains now? Are they real? As they I, when feel I grab... like cold, icy iron in your hands. You feel the divine energy in your in your knuckles and fingers and tendons, keeping your hands warm. Otherwise, they might freeze from touching them. But you have a hold of them. Okay. Um, and there are are they attached to Kovira? What 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 else are they attached to? They are attached to either of his huge like almost ogre-like arms. He has four or five chains coming out of these chains wrapped around each of his wrists, and he's just sort of standing there, and the chains seem to maneuver like snakes. And they are primarily, it looks like he's trying to choke her to death. They're wrapped around her old body. He had one of her arms and legs pinned, but she's wiggling free slowly. I I grab the ones around her neck and begin to like try to try to unwrap unwrap them. Okay. Kovira, make another will save. Ah. You pull one off of her neck, and Kovira, you can now speak freely, and you gasp for air, and then you realize you're, you're actually fine. You weren't really choking. It was in your mind, and you are trapped in this sort of part man, part spirit, part trap ghost. And Dismas has just pulled pulled you part of the way out of it. You can speak freely. Oh my God, you guys are alive! Holy shit! <laughs> I thought I thought you guys I thought you guys were dead. She starts babbling, and the silence yeah. effect is broken. You guys can can speak to each other pretty easily now. Normally. Uh, it's still very cold in the room, and the ghost effect is still entangled up in her. But Dismas is unraveling it like chain by chain. Uh didn't buy it. Uh that was three rounds of of uh spiritual weapon, correct? Uh yeah, but let me check on that because it might be minute per level. That spells so good. I th I think it's it's round, round per level. It's I looked round. it up. Yeah I think Toby's just uh, there attempt to do it, yeah. Okay. Well you got another one then. Go ahead and do it. No, I already did three runs. Didn't did I? you do three? I thought you did two. The immediate, the immediate casting. I don't, can you look and count? I thought I did three. I think okay. it was. I think you did hit it three times. Okay. I think I did two. Yes. Fair if, enough. If you got to hit it on the first round, then yeah. Yep. Yes, I did get to hit it on the first round. Okay. Yeah, it hits yeah. when you cast. Oh, sorry. I can't. Now I'm just hitting the equal sign because I'm keyboard literate. Yeah, there you go. doing great. Doing great. You blast again, and for whatever reason, you see as Dismas is holding the chain and Kavir is fighting free, you see light burst from Dismas' hands up the chain into him, and you blast him. And this time you see him slammed back against the wall, and he looks over in shock, his eyes searching the room as if he can't see any of you. And he looks abs actually panicked after that one. Gaspar. Time for Dick, idiot. <laughs> I feel dick really Marker. Yeah. Oh. 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 Plus one damage. <laughs> Plus one damage. Gaspar, as you as you see him slammed up against the wall by the channels. And you see his face kind of take on a... It just suddenly looks like a fat, sweaty, panicked 
guy. He becomes just slightly more tangible for an instant. And he's looking through you, past you, to the left of you, to the right of you. And at the last second, he looks right at you and looks terrified. And you just slam the gold knuckle straight down in between his eyes. And you see the spirit flash. You see a bright blue light flash. And then you see him fall backward and the chains let go of Kovira. They fly back all around his body and he falls kind of backward into the wall, into the floor. And he's pulled downward and sort of northward at the same time. And he looks in that direction and looks absolutely horrified. And then he fades out. He's completely in, invisible again. Gone. I, I flip off the area in which he's disintegrating. <laughs> you said he looked north? Downward? Downward, and downward. He yeah. He got pulled northward and downward into the floor. And now he's gone. And she's Hold fine. Up. She's breathing and looking around kind of panicked. Is she, is she damaged? Is she is she taking damage? She, she is scared half to death, but unhurt otherwise. Okay. You all right there, bud? I just start immediately blabbering <laughs> about everything. And you guys were dead. Okay. And my okay. friend Sherry. <laughs> okay. 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 So I need utter silence for one moment. This, <laughs> this is why we don't <laughs> fucking run down the hall like a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There was just something. This, the door, the room this, felt inviting. Yeah. <laughs> what did this we learn? This is why we don't run down the hall like a two year old and separate the party yet again <laughs> in the same fucking spot. Good <laughs> golly. If I have to explain this a third fucking time, I will disown all of you and fucking go home. <laughs> <laughs> this Band is the mom. Spot. Band mom. Yeah. Goodbye. It's. The anger is out of love. I will turn this fucking car around. I will turn this decrepit prison around. <laughs> well, okay. there was some possibly help. I mean, I don't know if the holy symbols were helpful at all, or if this was just a little side side gig that is substanceless for our main quest. Because The today... temperature in the room raises <laughs> rapidly to normal to normal outside room temperature. You hear the birds singing outside, the wind in the trees, a light rain passes over Harrowstone as often happens. Everything <sighs> feels like it's going back to normal. In fact, this whole segment of the building feels more normal and more comfortable and more wholesome than it ever has since you've been here. Your characters are confident that you have removed or temporarily disabled another one of the major Harrowstone menaces. Fuck yeah. And we'll pause there. Good session, everyone. Oh, we were going to go kick some more ass. Yeah, we're going to go time. kick some booty. We'll kick some more ass next time. If we go another month without playing this fucking campaign, I will scream. We can try it again next, next week? week or the one next after. Week, next week, next week, next okay. week. I will pick up four fucking randos off Craigslist to play your characters. <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> the line yes. the, the line I was looking for was I don't think this is real or some facsimile of that. As soon as you started to reject it, that's when you got the opportunity to fight back against him. Right. Yeah. I didn't as long as you I, accept yeah. his bullshit. You're yeah. in it forever until you're dead. Oh uh, yeah, the, the board. The board was definitely gonna be accepting his bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah, the board would have showed you whatever he wanted it to show you. Yeah. Cool. Good job. Thanks. Yeah, you didn't die. Good work. That, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that that could have gone worse. Thought I was yeah. gonna die. Was definitely Most people confused. Die. Was definitely confused for five minutes. Yeah. Possibly ten. Campaign, campaign over, huh? <laughs> I thought I, I there really genuinely was a point where I was like, I at least killed myself. I don't think I killed these guys, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, it would be pretty off-color for Toby to just, like, off-screen murder all of our characters while we were in a place that we were supposed to be to progress the story. But if we yeah. fucked up in a big way by being yeah, here with enough. no haunt siphons... <laughs> yeah. Like, if we made, like, a real big mistake by coming here and he's just, like, done the math and realized that there's nothing we could do to win this, well, yeah, I can see it. I mean, Tim, we paused in Harrowstone... <laughs> 
<laughs> Still, we haven't left. Yeah. We don't know what next week holds. We haven't left. Never left Hairstone. We're still in the Shonies. <laughs> We're still in the Shonies. It we is never a little left like the Shonies. It is a little like the we never left the Shonies. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if you wanted me to name that friend. You're like, ah, yes, your friend from. No, I was the being deliberately, part. deliberately vague about it. God damn it! Mm -hmm. I was prepared to name her. I was like, ah, yes, Lucifera, my darling angel. <laughs> you put Lucifer yes. in the name. Yeah. My best, my best I'm a tieflin, baby. Yes. I'm a tieflin. Yeah, Lucifer. Well, I'm Lucifer a tieflin. That's a southern tiefling, but it's a um, tieflin. Tell you what, get that devil in you. Yeah. Mm. Come yeah. on up in there. Right. Every nook and cranny. Truly, yep, that's right. Before this goes any further, I'm going to stop.